A man was walking down a street. He turned the corner and looked into an alleyway, and he saw a man beating somebody else up. He looked and there was no one around, so he decided to call for help. The cops came and the man was arrested. A man was walking down a street and he saw a group of people gathered around. He, he elbowed his way through the crowd and he, and he looked inside and there was a man beating someone else up. He looked around. Surely there was somebody else who had called the cops. The man waited and waited and waited and nothing ever happened. It was too late. The man on the ground was beaten and bruised and battered, and the man who had done it had ran off. I want to talk to you about something today that I refer to as the hockey fan mentality. Um, and this will all make sense in a minute. But I want you to ask a question. Why did nothing happen in the second scenario? Why did nobody call for help? Studies have shown that if one person sees some sort of injustice, he is likely to do something. But studies have also shown that if there is a large majority group of people, everybody else assumes that everybody else is doing something. And so this idea <laughs> is actually really interesting because this happens more so in life, more often than we might think. Not just about negative things, but about positive things. You see, the same thing could be said of hockey. We see fantastic players out on the streets and we walk around the streets when our team wins saying we won, we won, we won. We look at a Stanley Cup playoffs and we say my team, our team, we won the Stanley Cup championships. Did you really? Or did just the Pittsburgh Penguins win the Stanley Cup and you, since you have cheered for them for a long time, feel this elevation in life of yourself thinking now I am better because my team won. I want to challenge you today on a concept that isn't necessarily easy to think about but it could actually change your life if you understand what I'm trying to tell you um, or present to you I guess because I don't want to tell you anything. I want you to ask questions in a way where it helps you have revelation surrounding things in your life, subjects, and then now you get to change because it was your realization and not me just sharing information with you. Um, and so the concept is this. Oftentimes in life when we aren't winning, we often look to other people who are, other people who are excelling in their arenas, other people who are doing good, and we watch them and say, wow, that's awesome. That's really good. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Take that person's win and be like, hey, look at, look at what I'm doing. Look at the good that is around me. And we can fall into this place where all of a sudden we are left with nothing because somebody else was excelling and when we tried, we didn't. Um, and so, yeah, hockey fan mentality is this idea of you as a person looking at somebody else who is excelling and doing good, and when they win, it makes you feel good because you've been watching. And sometimes we can do that way too often in our lives where we look around at the good that other people are doing, the wins other people are getting on a day-to-day -day basis, and we can think we are doing good, when in reality, we have done absolutely nothing. And today I wanna to challenge you. I wanna ask you a question. Why is it that we look and we are satisfied when other people win around us if we ourselves aren't doing anything at all? I wanna challenge you today to not simply move forward in life based on what other people are doing, but to move forward in life based upon what you are doing. I want you to excel. I want you to become better. I want you to look farther, to go further than you have ever been before. But that is only gonna happen if you stand up out of your hockey seat in the arena and you walk out of that arena and you say, I'm gonna go do something that matters to me and my family. I come from working in the oil field and I cannot tell you how many times days of the people the emotions that they felt, how proud they were, how confident they were, was dependent on how their team did last night. 
If they won, they're excited and happy. And yet, meanwhile, at home, marriages are falling apart. Children are being neglected. And it's interesting to me when people know more stats about a hockey game than they do about their own children. And so my question to you today is, what arena do you want to win in life at? Do you want to be excited and know and understand everything about something that doesn't actually potentially even matter towards you in your future? Or do you want to pick something and choose something to excel at in your own life so that you can actually go and make a difference? So today I want to challenge you to no longer be a hockey fan, but to go and find something that you can excel at, that you can achieve at, that you can do well at, and to put time and effort and money into it so that sooner or later you are no longer cheering for somebody else, but you are simply making a stand and doing what is right for you and your family. And that is when you will change from a hockey fan to somebody who actually is making a difference. So don't backpack on the success and wins of other people, but choose yourself and go out and make a difference. Because when you choose yourself, that's when you will win. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to send them my way. I love talking about stuff like this. So let's go make a difference. Let's not be fans. Let's actually make a plan and go out and change this world. Peace out.